And the nation's most advanced fleet of weather satellites about to get an update. Later today, the fourth and final installation of NOAA's GOES R series will launch from NASA's Kennedy Space Center. The new satellite named GOES U will join the fleet that helps keep us safe here on the ground and in space. So here to tell us all about this, NASA Deputy Director for Geostationary Earth Orbit Observations. We have Brian Hall joining us this morning. Brian, great to see you today. Great to see you. Thanks for having me. Of course. So goes you part of the goes our series for so many people at home. They're like, what are you guys talking about? I know a lot of meteorologists are familiar with this, but explain why this is important. So as you mentioned, uh, goes you is the fourth and final in the goes our series of weather satellites. These are our nation's only geostationary weather satellites. They provide 24 seven imagery as well as uh, data products to monitor day-to-day -day weather as well as severe weather systems. Okay, so obviously pretty important when it comes to forecasting weather here and the way it works when you say geostationary, describe where it is out there in outer space and what it's capturing. So geostationary orbit is around 22,000 miles above the equator. Uh, the reason we put the satellites in geostationary uh, Earth orbit is that they will actually rotate at the same rate that the Earth rotates. So they will give us a constant picture of the area that they're looking down upon. So right. that gives us good coverage uh, of the entire Western Hemisphere. So it moves along with us as the Earth rotates. And this will be focused yes. on our area, right? North America? Yes. Okay. Yes, our satellites uh, focus on the Western Hemisphere uh, and give data products to about 1 billion people. Wow. Okay, so, so important. Uh, obviously, uh, this will also have some new tools on board. If you could explain that, the weather from the sun can also be captured? Yes, we're flying a new instrument called the Compact Coronagraph, or C-Core 1. Uh, that instrument will study the sun. What it does is it blocks out the center of the sun, much like an eclipse, and we can get an image every 30 minutes of the sun's outer uh, boundary, or the corona, and that allows us to detect and characterize coronal mass ejections, which are important uh, to satellite communications, the safety of our astronauts in space, as well as ground communications, whether it's GPS systems, RF systems, and even our power grids can be affected by those coronal mass ejections. Wow, yeah, incredible. And to be able to see when that's happening, to warn people about it. Uh, I know, Brian, here in Southern California, San Diego area, we're particularly concerned about wildfires. Uh, there's, you know, smoke that comes from fires. The heat, obviously, a big talker these days. Tell us how Goes U will help with that. Yes, the Goes R series of satellites um, is really prevalent in uh, detecting and fighting wildfires. Um, often, cases uh, the Goes R uh, satellite uh, data products will be the first detection of a hot spot and a potential wildfire wow. even before the public calls 911. So we can detect uh, hot spots on the order of about an acre uh, and again monitor how they progress uh, to help firefighters. And you mentioned looking at the, uh, the smoke plumes as mm -hmm. well. So that helps first responders uh, on the ground and in the air to fight the wildfires. Yeah, I mean, we're seeing these images here from the goes our series, the satellites, and yeah, you can see those plumes of smoke. Uh, incredible that you have. We now have eyes, you know, from way up there that can detect all of this. So important in firefighting, of course. Uh, tell us, Brian, you're there at Kennedy Space Center. Uh, how exciting is it for you today to be a part of this, to see this happening? We are tremendously excited, again, to launch the fourth and final in the Gozar series, uh, to extend the service life of the Gozar series into the 2030s, and to see this new uh, C-Corps instrument in operation in the future. And we know a lot of people love to see the launches and stay up to date with everything NASA has up, uh, is up to. Uh, tell us how people can keep up to date with this mission. So on social media, you can look at, at NOAA satellites, uh, noaa.gov slash you and also on the NASA launch site. And our National Weather Service here locally, very excited about this too. We'll be watching closely with the data that comes from this. Thank you so much, Brian. Thank you.